Understanding Fragmentation Event, a deep dive. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we simplify English for learners all around the globe. Today, we're diving into an interesting phrase that you might come across in science, technology, or even in everyday news, fragmentation event. Whether you're a language enthusiast or someone who loves to learn new terms and their applications, this video is for you. Let's unpack the meaning and use of this intriguing phrase together. First, let's dissect fragmentation event into two parts to better understand its meaning. Fragmentation refers to the process of breaking or being broken into small or separate parts. The word event in this context signifies an occurrence or an incident. Therefore, when combined, fragmentation event broadly refers to an occurrence where something is broken down into smaller pieces or parts. To give you a clearer picture, let's explore a few examples where this term might be used. In nature, a common natural example would be the breaking off of icebergs from glaciers, known as calving. This can be described as a fragmentation event in the natural world. In technology, in the world of computing, fragmentation event could refer to the division of data into smaller pieces to be stored in different locations on a disk. In society, the term can also be metaphorical, describing events that lead to the breakdown of societal structures or relationships. Understanding the term, fragmentation event, is crucial for several reasons. It helps in comprehending scientific and technological discussions more effectively. It enriches your vocabulary, allowing you to express complex ideas succinctly. Knowing such terms enhances your ability to understand and engage with global issues, including environmental changes and technological advancements. We hope this exploration of the term, fragmentation event, has been enlightening. Whether you encounter it in a scientific article, a tech blog, or in a discussion about societal changes, you now have the knowledge to understand and use this term confidently. Remember, learning English is not just about memorizing words but understanding the context in which they're used. Keep learning, and see you in our next video.